Hi, happy Friday. Thanks for stopping by KSAT.com or the KSAT weather app for a look at your forecast. You may be here because you've heard there's a chance of storms in the forecast tonight, and I've got a look at hour by hour really what you can expect for the rest of the day through 4 p.m. Weather staying pretty quiet, warm, humid, some sun peeking through a few sprinkles possible by about 4 p.m. Though we'll be looking for some storms to develop west of I-35 along a cold front. That front will be arriving in San Antonio between about 5 and 7 p.m. This evening, that's going to be the Alamo City's best window at some strong to severe thunderstorms. Uh, once we get to 8, 9 p.m., storms will be moving east of the I-35 corridor, but they could maintain their strength. So if you're east of San Antonio, east of I-35 uh, through about 10 p.m. tonight, there will be a chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms for you. However, the worst of it in San Antonio again between about 5 and 7 p.m. this evening. As we get closer to midnight tonight, rain chances drop out of the forecast. Skies will be mostly cloudy, but will clear out really nicely by early Saturday morning. Here's a look at that on future cast. So 4 p.m. west of 35, we have some isolated showers and storms developing. Those storms could quickly intensify such that between about 5 and 7 o'clock this evening, we've got some strong to severe storms moving across Bear County and through San Antonio. 8 to 10 p.m p.m. this evening. Those storms moving east of the I-35 corridor still packing a punch though. And then as we get closer to midnight, all that thunderstorm activity moving off closer to the College Station, Houston areas and clearing San Antonio. Storms this evening will have the potential to bring damaging thunderstorm winds, so that could be wind gusts up to 50 55 miles per hour and some large hail potentially up to the size of quarters. There is a really small chance that an isolated thunderstorm cell could produce a weak tornado. However, the main concerns are going to be for wind and hail as we get into this afternoon and this evening. So keep your case out weather app handy. Adam Kasky and I will be sending out alerts all evening long, keeping you updated. All of this clears out nicely overnight. The weekend looks great. We'll have increasing clouds and humidity by early next week.